Heyo. I am back. I had dinner. I'm full of food. The game is still like yeah, shit. Despite the fact I quit playing a while ago. And we'll quit playing for a couple hours actually since the last time I was recording. Apparently that is not enough time for my computer to uh, like repair itself in that time. So uh, yeah. Maybe I'll turn some of these bones into bone meal. Yeah. There. So as you all have seen from last time, I have more food, more progress on my house. There's the peaceful, somber music of the game playing, and then the loud-ass noise of the blocks breaking. <laughs> yeah, much better. Okay, not much, but slightly less annoying. Okay. This is nice. And I remember the old days of Minecraft when sugarcane used to look like very light green. Remember those days? If you're an OG player, you remember when the wheat was a lighter green color. The water texture, I believe, looked different back then. The wheat looked different. It was like brown and gold looking. Now it looks like this. They've changed a lot of textures of items in game that I don't particularly agree with or like. I'm pretty sure... My advancements. Okay, so whatever's highlighted yellow means you have it, I think. Okay. Cool. Okay, this is neat. Advancements. Don't know if I'm going to 100% the game, but I'll try, I guess. Statistics. Options. Resource packs. The classic look of Minecraft. Okay. Interesting. These aren't available because I'm using the newest version, but... Programmer art. Okay, so if I click done, that will make it look classic. Oh! It might have done it. It did not. <laughs> oh wait, it did. Okay, I was wrong. Wait, is that the lighter sugarcane texture? I can't tell. It's been so long since I've fucking seen it in game. That does look slightly lighter, actually. Yeah, and look, see, that's what the wheat actually used to look like. It used to look like this. Man. I miss the older Minecraft. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, a lot of the new stuff they've added is really cool, and I'm not angry about that. Like, I think it's awesome. Like, I'm glad that they're updating the game. I'm glad they're updating their stuff and making the game more interesting and flushed out. And keeping it alive. But, I don't know. Part of me still just misses the old days. The old Minecraft. The way it used to be. And you can't really blame me, can you? Like, it's a little sad. Like, the new Minecraft is dope. It's awesome. I'm not saying it isn't, but I just can't help but miss the old, the old Minecraft that I know. That I grew up with. You know, when armor looked different, the cobblestone texture was different and stuff, the sugar cane. When there were really. When there were only chickens, cows. If, when there were only chickens, cows, sheep, and pigs. There weren't any bunnies, there weren't any llamas or donkeys. Hell, I don't even think they introduced horses yet. I'm talking about the old, old days of Minecraft. 
Hell, even the time when they introduced horses and stuff. Even that's emotional for me. I've been around this game for a long time. I've seen its growth and development, and... It's awesome how far it's come. I'm just sad, I don't know. This is next to Pokemon, like, Generation 4 and 5. Minecraft is probably one of my most nostalgic, emotional games. Next to TF2. TF2 is also quite up there. I can go on any community server I played on a lot as a kid and I'll like probably cry. That to me is the equivalent of like a kid who grew up playing Halo or like Call of Duty. If you grew up playing those games, like some people watching, you might have grown up with Call of Duty zombies playing like that in co-op mode with your friends and that's that's those are good memories for you. That's how I feel about Team Fortress 2 and Minecraft and stuff. You know, playing Blood Gulch on Halo or playing COD Zombies, you know? Minecraft is my thing. Minecraft is the thing that I miss. <laughs> when I say miss, I mean miss the old Minecraft, but it's enough of that. You get the point. I f oh, I forgot you could play Sugar Cane and Water. And that can actually work as an air pocket. I completely forgot that. That is interesting. But anyhow. As I said before, I wanted to make this really massive so I will like never have a shortage of sugarcane. And I think that's good. So I'm gonna plant for today. I'm gonna light it up down here actually. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure the torches are laking out the game. This is probably really stupid of me to do this, but I don't care. didn't believe me at first when I said I liked my area illuminated, then well, you do now. God. Torches everywhere. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but hey, it gets the job done. Alright, I should put torches up here too, actually. I illuminate this. Now, I should make more torches, because I just used pretty much all of them. Clam, bam, thank you ma'am. Okay, oh, there it goes. Ender man, dude. Oh, I just made him angry. Oh, he's gonna go to the bridge. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, uh, uh. fuck. Only reason I'm scared is because my game is fucking laggy as shit. Whew. I got scared there because literally my game did like a little dumbass leg spike thing and then I like froze up and I was like, <laughs> I was like, no. Come on, Enderman. Okay, he sees me. He sees me. And it's another leg spike. No, oh, he's carrying a flower. Hey, buddy. Oh, I dropped the flower. That's actually sad. Azure blew it. Here. Actually, I'll plant it there in memory of him. Okay. Oh, okay. It made me freeze for a moment. I was like, Ugh. "Okay, still leggy as shit." That's a lot of skeletons out there, man. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, oh, you fucked up, skeleton. We got the zombie attacking him now. Look at this fight. Oh, this is interesting. This is fun. Oh, I think the skeleton's gonna win now. Yeah, the skeleton won. Oh, I can't get his attention. Can a zombie get me from here? No, I can't. Okay. Hmm. Oh, shit. Come on, shoot me. Oh, yeah, he did it. <laughs> oh, that, okay, shit. Nice. That took one hit. Bye bye. You've helped me. Thank you. And using the classic textures and killing a zombie up here. That just. I don't know, man. That made me feel nostalgic just now doing that. That was nice. It feels weird playing with this original texture. Like original textures. Not gonna lie, it feels. It just feels weird. Cause I've been playing with the new one for so long now. Like, I remember these older textures. And. Like, it looks a little different. Like, the bed looks different too. Like, this is so weird. Oh, and the windows! The windows are the most telling, right. Yeah, the classic windows are kind of stupid, not gonna lie. That's one thing I'm glad they changed, but... I grew up, I grew up with this glass in Minecraft. This is the glass I remember. The stupid glass that's really... That really doesn't make any sense. Oh. Yeah, I may as well switch back to the new one, I guess. To the new one. Yeah, so resource packs. If you prefer that one though, let me know. Default. And default is the new one. Okay. Yeah, see they changed the texture of the bed a bit. See? And look. The new glass panes and that's a creeper. Fuck. Why'd you have to come out of my property, dude? <gasps> Wait, no. Oh, I see what mistake I made now. They can get into my house that way. Shit. Oh, that's really stupid of me. Why did I do it that way? Oh, God, that's scary. Okay, I'm going to patch that immediately. Yeah, I can climb up here. Fuck. Actually, let's test. Is he smart enough? Okay, he is not smart enough. Okay. <laughs> Still scary nonetheless. So I'm gonna try and fix that up. Oh my god, look at this motherfucker. Hey. God, man. Okay. For real, for real now, I am going to go mining now, I think. Or... No, I... Oh my god, you really see me from there? What the fuck? Can I actually tell from that far away, dude? Really? God. Ooh. That's so creepy. <laughs> As the name implies, creeper. Okay, um... Can I change my mind? I am taking that back, taking that back, taking this back. And uh, actually, I'm just going to put all these in the other chest. God, it's so disorganized. Okay, let's get this creeper. There's two of them? Come on, man. Okay. Okay, got him. I do not want you on my property. Knockback is a really helpful enchantment to have for creepers, by the way. 
So I will be doing enchanting in this series and stuff and alchemy and whatnot, but I'm not going to be like crazy about it. Like I'm not going to overstress. Try and get like tons of it done. Like it won't be the end of the world if I'm missing some stuff basically is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, and yeah, you know what? I think that's good. I think that's all right. Let's go and chop down some more trees. And I say that because I want to officially make a farm. I'm done waiting around. I'm going to start my animal farms now. Hey, there's tons of loot out here. Shit. Okay, so some skeletons burn to death out here, I'm guessing. I did see a bunch earlier. So that makes sense. Enderman. Did I get him? I looked at him. Hold on. Shit. Keep teleporting. Damn it. Oh, I got him. Ooh, ooh. He sees me. Hello. Ow. Got him. Okay. Very nice. And grass blocks are actually helpful for something. I won't quite explain yet. That's good. I'll explain. Grass blocks are helpful. Because they're a grass block, not a dirt block. Grass will grow out grass to dirt blocks. So if you have a grass block, you can start your own grass patch area instead of it all just being dirt. So you can build a platform in a sky of dirt and then place one grass block and it'll grow out to all the dirt, basically. And that is what it is helpful for. And there are a bunch of chickens over here, and they're laying a bunch of eggs, and I'm very okay with this. Anyhow, I'll start getting to work on chop chop chopping all of this stuff. Also going to eventually make a tree farm. By that I mean just replant the trees I got from chopping down them in the forest. I always feel bad chopping down trees in this game because it's just, I don't know. A very natural kind of state of beauty, how it randomly generates things, and just no matter where I place the trees, it just isn't the same. Like, replanting them just feels weird. Because it's not the same, man. The way the game generated it is, like, the best. And no matter what I do, it just isn't really quite the same. So, I have one sapling so far, that's cool. I chopped down these ones, I believe. I did. Let's try and keep it going at least, like replant these. I try and do this in this game, replant them in the exact areas they were. Because I like where they grow in this game. And I see an apple there, I will take that, thank you very much. This axe is about to break, actually. Oh dear. Oh dearie. Oh dear, oh man. Oh no. The axe is about to break. There. I think there is one right there. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Trees in this game just have a very natural state that you find them in. Because it's cool. It's all randomly generated. And then when you roll through and just like mess shit up you kind of feel bad especially because I'm pretty sure the AI the animals actually like having trees around I've noticed it like affects them in a way but uh yeah Actually, wait, no, why don't I plant these closer to my house? I think that makes more sense. I 
Now how much wood will that make for me? Quite a bit, quite a bit, but not exactly the amount I was hoping for. I might just go back to that uh, birch forest, honestly. The birch forest is pretty amazing. The roses keep fooling me and make me think that there's apples that dropped. Also, I wasn't keeping an eye on the time. It's 10.42 right now. Maybe I will end the recording at 11.10. Yeah, I'll do that at 11.10. That should be okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna make a new axe. Can I ask you a question? But, um, touche. Uh -huh. Okay, there. Nice. I'm gonna make a new sword, actually. Because this one's gonna break very soon. There. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yup. Nope, actually. <laughs> Take those back. I know exactly where I'm gonna put this stuff. I'm gonna plant these outside of my house. And do what I should have done a long, long time ago. I plant a bunch of motherfucking trees. So that way I don't have to venture out all the way to the forest. So I can just have all my wood on the ready here. That, don't make an innuendo, please. And if you didn't, then I'm sorry, I was the one who was thinking it, not you. Okay. I feel like this game has an effect on me. It just makes me have funnier or just more pleasant commentary compared to other things I play. Because it's relatively easy, you don't need to do anything really extreme. Unless you choose to, which in that case, that's fine. If you <laughs> To most, this Let's Play is boring as shit. But to some, some probably actually like this, you know. You just want to chill out. You don't want to be immensely entertained. They don't want to be rolling on the floor in their own piss, laughing hard. They just want to enjoy themselves. Which both are pretty much the same thing, just different ways of enjoying, but, um, yeah. God, I like the higher render distance, but it makes the game so laggy. Like, look at that, that's so much better looking. Yeah, just seeing all that in the distance there. And if I turned it all the way up, my computer would probably blow up right now. Just kidding, that's really overdramatic, but you get the point. Um, yeah. I remember in one game I had, I had the render distance low the entire time. Like, I think it was also at 8 chunks. And the entire time there was a village pretty much right over a forest near my house that I never spotted or went to. Until one day I was just on the top of my completed house and I had my badass, like, place finished. And I decided to turn up my re resolution. I mean, my, uh, view distance. I turned it up to about 20, I believe, and then I was just scouting the area and looking because it was a high point, and I saw a rooftop of a village house, and I was like, oh shit, and then I traveled down there, and it was a gigantic village, like a massive village, and I still need to return that to that world sometime because it was pretty dope, a lot of stuff there, but uh, anyhow, I'm gonna work on getting some... Uh, Honestly, I could just chop down these here. I don't know why I don't just do that. Like, yeah, there's a giant birch forest, but dude. <laughs> Screw it. Okay, I'll go to the birch forest. I think it was down this way. I'm pretty sure. I forget. Yeah, I think it was. I see that magical floating birch tree again up there. What's down here? Oh, that's lava. That would have been really bad. Holy shit, there's a bunch of lava here. Dude, what? Okay, well, I know where I'm getting obsidian later. And I know where I'm staying the fuck away from. That is terrifying. Okay. 
I'm just gonna like reveal all this here so I always know where it is. Oh wait, this is the cute part of the song, shit. It's so quiet though. And it gets louder. <laughs> And that's why I turn it down. But there's, there's, my favorite part of this song happens to be the quietest, and that always bothers me because I have to turn it up all the way to actually hear it to truly appreciate it. Cause it's so quiet. It's the prettiest, calmest part of the ah song. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn that back down so I don't accidentally walk into the fucking lava and die horribly. There, and I'm not going to bother picking up the dirt that's there. So I don't want to fall in. Is this a ravine? It is not, okay. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of chickens here. Okay, yeah, I think the birch forest is this way. Oh right, this is where the Himalayas are, technically. The snowy biome. I have an idea. If there is a, a like snow biome here, then I will probably make a snow house. Like a cabin. You know what? I think I'll do that. I will do like a lot of off-screen gameplay, gathering the materials, and I will plan the foundation for the house. I'll get everything ready, and I'll just try and do a time-lapse video. Except not a time-lapse, because I don't have the editing software to fast-forward that, but you get the point. Okay, yeah, there's a, all the snow. All the f birch, I mean. Okay, yeah, so this is a mountain biome, but like, does it ever snow here? Because if so... Looks like it just snows in the mountain tops. Let's explore this place. Let's see what's going on. Cool. Hey llamas. Hey alpacas. Mountain biomes were always really cool to me in this game. Pretty useless, but pretty cool. Only really helpful for scouting, but then again, they're just giant masses of land that get in the way, so they're kind of the cause of the issue in the first place, but whatever. Anyway, let's get all this wood. Oh, this is such a pretty little area down here. Okay. I think I'm going to move something here so I can actually see how many I'm collecting there. 24. Cool. Like a miniature little forest down here. What's this called? It's a little biome. I believe it tells you biomes here. Yeah, birch underscore forest right there. Cool. I, you know what? That's another thing I really like Java for. The coordinates are really good. In Bedrock, you can turn them on, but technically it's like a weird thing in the options you have to switch on and I don't like those coordinates as much because it doesn't actually tell you the biome or like north, south, west, and east. It just tells you your x, y, and z coordinates which is still helpful but I don't know. I just prefer Java for a lot of reasons. Hello Mr. Chicken. Oh, that's cute. That's pretty. Look at a little water pouring there in the tree there. This is a nice little area. You know what? I'm... I have an idea. I might make this my little area. I'm not joking. I might just build my little cabin down here. 
There's the snow tops there and stuff. I think it would be quite cute. A little birch forest. Birch wood is perfect for like winter themed stuff in my opinion. I feel like birch goes perfectly with the theme of snow. It's always been how I've thought of it. But um... Yeah, time to head back home. It's getting dark. And home is quite some ways away, so it's a little scary right now. Not only that, but my game is lagging really fucking bad. And it's really not a good time to be lagging so much, game. Please don't lag. Oh no. I might be stranded on a mountaintop in the nighttime. That's really not good. Because I can fall to my death. I'm quite some ways away from home, and that is a very scary prospect. In game, seriously, if you don't quit lagging, this is this is bad. I'm stressing. Fuck. Honestly, this is why Bedrock gets well any points at all. Like it wouldn't get any points, but it gets actually a hefty amount of points solely because of the lag issue. If it didn't have that, it would definitely be Java over Bedrock. But since Java decides to be horrendously laggy most of the time, I give quite a hefty amount of points to Bedrock. And I'm probably heading the wrong way right now. I don't think there's going to be a nice slope going down on this side. It's going to be a very steep drop, and I was exactly correct. Except for this little area here. I will try and... <sighs> That's a long fall. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is cool. Okay. I guess if I can't make it, which is I very much won't, probably, I can just cave out in here. I can chill out here in this cave. That's really nice. I love that mountains in this game. I'm going to take a bit of fall damage going down here, but hey, I need a way back home, so. Okay. And that is how you properly get down a mountain. Okay, I might actually be able to make it back home in time. If the game would stop fucking lagging, as I've already mentioned. God, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to make a birch wood farm. Mm. <sighs> I'm thinking of that meme from uh, Detroit Become Human, the robot game. <gasps> Fuck, man. Steep drops everywhere. It's not like I said Steve Jobs everywhere. I said steep drops everywhere. Um, someone should make a meme. Well, oh my god, lava, fuck. I might make a meme of myself where it's like, leg starts, Josh, <laughs> stress levels 100. Because like a very common commentary until shit like that happens and then I begin panicking and it's like, oh dear. Okay, well, it seems like I will make it back home just in time. Awesome. I'm actually proud of myself. I was that far away and I made it back home in record time. It doesn't look like any of my trees grew. I'm not surprised. It usually takes a while. Hell, I still have time to actually plant these trees while I'm here. Ah, a leg. I'm not a fan of that, though. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, cool. Lord. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Lord have mercy on our souls. Don't know why I'm talking like John Kennedy. I, uh, I am playing Minecraft today. Hello, Americans. I am uh, John F. J. F. Kennedy. Hello. 
And I am uh, playing Minecraft. And the other U.S. presidents join in. Nixon's like, "Who are we playing today?" And then Obama walks and he's like, "Yes, hello, uh, I'm Obama. Hello, uh, what, what are we, uh, what, what, what are we playing today?" And Trump walks and he's like, "Uh, what are we playing today?" Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's funny to me. I don't know why all the American presidents and most of them in history have funny voices, and I don't know why. None of them have normal voices. All of them sound like cartoon characters. And that's not a political statement in, like, any way saying that. So I can say that as much as I want. They all sound like fucking cartoon characters and it's funny as shit. I don't know why they do, but they do. And they always have to me. They sound like cartoon characters. Like, American presidents throughout history. Like, I don't understand. Like, they just have funny fucking voices, and I don't know why. I don't know why they do funny voices. Maybe it's on purpose. I don't know. I'm, I'm not particularly complaining in any way. I love it, but, like, it's so weird. Each of them have had, like, really unique voices. Okay. Okay. Kachow. I believe this is how you make, uh, yeah, the fence gates there. I'm doing birch uh, fences because they're just the most aesthetically pleasing and realistic to like picket fences that I can think of because of their hue, because of their color. So I use them for that uh, exact reason. Okay. Let's just get started with this. Right, this is where I was originally building and the pig got in the way of my construction. He did the old hippie thing. He stood in front of my tank. He put the gun in my uh, in my musket. It's like, no man, you're not building here, man. It's not happening, man. Like, give me a, a Scooby snack, dude. And some pot. And I was like, okay, okay. And then I quit building. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this is literally the perfect area. This is like as good as it's gonna get. I can get rid of more of this land here if I want. This is really good actually, I like this. I just realized I probably could have used a flint and steel to get rid of a lot of the grass. That would have like solved my issue, but whatever. That's another thing. Actually, I'll give to Bedrock over uh, Java. That Java has like an annoying amount of grass and trying to break all of it like it legs out your computer but in bedrock there's like grass and like patches around and looks quite frankly a little more realistic in my opinion I think it looks a little better that way but whatever yeah I know hot topic ooh fucking minecraft grass <laughs> but yeah you know um Oh, excuse me? Did he just shit talk Minecraft grass? Oh my gosh, the audacity. In a video game about blocks? How could he? Um, but yeah, um. Unless you have Oni plays, he's like. Mario 1 is the black sheep of the franchise. Or, wait, no shit. He said. He was mocking, like video game review channels that are like cringeworthy not just in general but the ones that like really suck ass <laughs> they're like really cringeworthy it's like the, the most embarrassing shit but yeah I mean I think I, th I think mocking is okay as long as it's in the pursuit of satire and it's done well otherwise it's just really unprofessional boring 
lazy bullying and it's not funny. If you're good at making fun of someone and it's really intelligent, okay, somewhat intelligent, you know what? It's okay, you might get a pass. But for the most part, I don't really condone bullying. So, you know, don't do that. Unless someone has a really, really good fucking reason to be bullied. <laughs> then, I don't know. That opens up a whole, uh, excuse me, broad range of things. Someone could think something is worthy of being bullied for that is absolutely not worth being bullied for. Like, most people would hear it and be like, what the hell, dude? Like, no, you should not be bullied for that. That is not good. Um, but yeah. <laughs> most controversial episode I've had yet. I'm talking about U.S. presidents and how they have funny voices. And talking about video game review channels and bullying. Woo -woo. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna put a giant, like, area of picket fence and just have all my animals inside. That grew really fast, dude. Oh my god. What the hell? Okay, shit. I'm making really funny faces while playing this. I could probably actually do face cam for this game, but I don't know. I don't really want to show my face. I mean, I... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be one of those people to ever show my face. And I actually mean that. I'm not going to be like, Oh, face reveal. Oh, face reveal. Subscribe to see my face and hear my voice. <laughs> Just kidding. You already hear my voice. But, like, I'm not going to do that shit. I'm going to stay true to not having my face on this channel. At least for as long as possible. Just kidding. I'm actually never revealing it. But, yeah. Reason why... I also won't give that away. It's actually just kind of a privacy thing. I just don't want to show my face on this channel. This is Leggy's ass still. Holy fuck, dude. I'm just clearing out this little last bit here. So I want to have as much flat space as possible for this. Yeah, also I'm hoping to put some like other farms, you know, like um, wheat and stuff, and potato, like that kind of farming. So, uh, yeah. God damn it. Oh, the leg, the leg, the leg. What a world, what a world. Okay. Jesus, leg. Okay. Shit. Honestly? If I could trade a diamond for, like, a bunch of dirt in this game, I would. <laughs> I'm not fucking joking. Dirt is a valuable resource for me because I'm a builder and landscaper who likes to do lots of cool shit. So having lots of dirt makes, makes it way easier for me to do the stuff I want to do. And, yeah, I'm out of dirt now. But look at this, look at all this flat land we've acquired here now. It will help me. 
will help me greatly. Okay, cool. What the fuck? Oh my god. I did a stupid leg spurg thing and then just placed a ton of them at once. I only right clicked once and it was like, I'm like, place two. And it was like, NANI! Okay. Let's get some more dirt out of here. Do I have any more? Shit. I'm really low on it. Damn it. Like I said, it's a valuable resource. Dude, I should do uh, what I did in the old days as a kid playing this game. I should just make a giant fucking crater in the earth. Like, just a giant crater for no particular reason that goes all the way down. That way I can get a bunch of dirt and, like, cobblestone easily. And also have a giant, magnificent, badass pit of death. And possibly find some cool cave systems and stuff that way. But, uh, yeah. That is perfect, actually, that giant tree there. I like that aesthetically. Walking out and seeing that up there. That is nice. I'm not going to get rid of that one. I wish some other trees could grow big like that, though. Because birch trees, no, oak trees are the only ones that actually do. Which I've always found a little strange. Right, but as I was doing before, I will continue on with this. I'll get rid of that. The shield is actually being a pain in my ass, so I'll get rid of that. Dirty apes, you leg. Disappointed. Okay, there. Your boy be driving a Ford Explorer. Boing boing push. Funny cartoony sound effects. Okay. <laughs> I don't give no context for that. Isn't cool though. This fucking leg. Okay. Okay, good, cool. Okay. Let's 
I will continue that later for now. I will get started with my farm. Dear God. Okay, that's four across, that is six across, but whatever, I don't care. At this point, my OCD is not getting the better of me, I just want a farm already. If I had more dirt, I would just cover in this entire area, but I don't, so I won't. I really wish I did. <sighs> okay, you know what, I'll do it. I will actually collect more dirt just so I could fill in that area. Actually, I enjoyed that aesthetically, right there. I'll keep that there. Okay, this is probably the kind of shit I could definitely cut out of the video, but... You see, that's the thing, I actually give commentary sometimes, and it's like entertaining, but most of the time it's just me like digging and shit, and like doing some really mundane stuff where I don't talk at all. So like, it's kind of complicated deciding. Um, yeah. Okay, now I can extend this far out. I'm thinking my chicken coop will be the smallest because chickens are the smallest and... Yeah, I just feel like that makes sense to put chickens in like the smallest area. I don't particularly need like a whole shit ton of them. As for cows though, I will need a lot of cows because I like to sort of mass produce cows to get as much leather as possible because leather is really helpful for making uh, enchantment rooms and such and a various assortment of things, so yeah. God damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Okay. Look at that, we already got one animal in our pen. How epic. Oh my 
by the shovels almost at the end of its life. Sorry if the lag is giving you guys like migraines, by the way. Um, okay, that was a really shitty time for that to break, but whatever. I'm just gonna go and craft a new one. Actually, wait, no, fuck that. I'll just put a new crafting bench out here. Yeah. Yeah, that's much easier. And we don't have to run over to the other side of the house to do it. Okay, sweet. This is going to be a pretty kick-ass farm. I think I'm going to have the animals out farthest away from my house, however. Because they're really noisy and quite annoying, and I don't want that. So, yeah. Wow. Just look at all the progress I've made already. I have my tree farm around my house. I have the foundation here. I have the bridge over there, all my sugar cane, the wheat farm. And my new farm will be right here. I will no longer go hungry in this game and survive off of like 15 loaves of bread and some fish I've caught. I will have massive stacks of each food. So let's get back to it. I said I'd end the video at 11.10. Oh shit, how long have I technically been recording now? I don't know. I'm scared. Maybe 11.30? I don't know, man. I'm scared. I'm scared of making a video too large where it automatically like stops recording right in the middle of recording. Because I wouldn't put it past this uh, program to do that. Like, I feel like that's totally within the realm of, like, possibility to happen. Shit, man. I can fit in... Oh my god, I can fit in so much more here. Trying to think of how I can efficiently. You know what? Screw it. I think I know. Let's just literally start hollowing out and mining dirt for the sake of mining dirt. I'm mining dirt. Woo -woo. Roast me all you want. Okay, so there's stone there, which is interesting. How long will it take mining in here for me to find stone? Okay, apparently that long. I'll turn this into a little hideout area if I wanted to. Pillagers ransack my base and come through here. I can just hide here. Okay, I now have much more dirt. <laughs> I know of only one person I think who'll actually watch these videos all the way through. Most will probably either watch a couple minutes or just skim through because it's, yeah, a little bit boring. Okay. I'll cover it up, but not entirely, so I just remember where it was in there. And now I have way more dirt. Oh, look. Burn through dirt so quickly. Okay. 
Okay. God, I can't wait to get this farm started. Oh, I need to make more uh, birch fence, actually. Shit. I can guarantee you this 30 birch fence will take up just this one side. And I think I was right. Almost 11.30, which means the recording is almost going to end. Okay. Cool. Actually, what I'm going to try and do is lure in as much animals as I can before I close that off. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab some wheat and I'm going to lure in a bunch of cows and sheep and then pigs. That is if I haven't already crafted all the wheat I have. I have totally done that. Okay, well, I will go and get more wheat. Sounds like I'm saying weed. Yeah, I will never have to worry about sugar cane again. Okay, and I can just break through all this wheat. Cool. God, that's so satisfying. Solid. 
Now you see if I did farming way more often, like actually coming through and collecting everything, I would have like stupidly preposterously large amounts of like everything, but yeah. Speaking of which, right now I'm going to collect this sugar cane. It's almost 11.30. I think I'm going to literally end this episode of collecting this sugar cane alongside here. And then taking a nap, and then taking a nap in real life. God, this is so satisfying. <laughs> Okay, cool. And that is effectively three stacks of sugarcane, except not quite. It's more so like three stacks and then nine sugarcane, but I'm gonna swim around and pick up everything I missed. Then see how much I actually have. Wow, I missed a lot here. Okay. Hmm. Very epic. Very cool. Okay. Oh. It's me doing a funny voice impersonation. <laughs> Let me see. How much is that? Yeah, that's, I was correct, that's four stacks. Wow, I actually estimated that, like, pretty much perfectly. I am proud of myself. Actually, I'm going to return this 55 stack here and more sugar. Put that away in there, and I turn the rest of this into paper. I just realized I don't have a crafting table in here. Wait, 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 no. Dude, I should just bring in the one from outside. Yeah, there. Right, let's sleep first. Oh, look at that, 11.30. Okay, well, yep, I'm going to bed then. paper and tons of seeds and also tons and tons of wheat well then good night everyone I'll do the cheap ass minecraft out row here where I punch at the screen and I'm like hello guys okay buy my credit cards my giveaway buy my merch but you know um, yeah for real I will see you, oh god, I will see you guys next time.